missing for several days, suddenly returned home. The little girl happily greeted her sister. But her sister, who thought she had achieved great success, was disgusted to see her little sister. The little girl rushed up and hugged her affectionately, saying how much she missed her. However, her sister pushed her away and then asked if anyone had come to look for her. The little girl cried and said that since their father passed away, no one had cared for her. But her sister impatiently told her not to cry and then put down a few bags of things and advised her not to acknowledge anyone who came looking for her in the future. She must say that there was no such person in their family family and that she did not know them. Hearing her sister's words, the little girl burst into tears again and begged her sister to take her away. Darcy couldn't bear to scold her anymore after seeing her sister's pitiful state, so she lied to her and told her to stay home for 100 days, promising to come back for her. After making the promise, the little girl suddenly remembered something and ran back into their home to retrieve the memory card their father had left her, wanting to give it to her sister. But at that moment, her sister drove away without looking back. The little girl waited for her sister but she never came back. However, she met Samantha, who had been searching searching for her sister. When Samantha's fiancé, Spike, died in a car accident, she saw a woman running away from the car in panic. Samantha was convinced that Darcy's father was not the one driving the car that caused the accident. In order to find the truth, she went to the police station and found Darcy's home using their address. After breaking in, she suddenly discovered a little girl who had fainted on the floor. The little girl had a high fever, so Samantha took her to the hospital. When she learned about the little girl's tragic experience, she secretly took her back to her own home and took care of her. In order to make money to support the little girl, Samantha found a job at Ruby Company. Coincidentally, she and Darcy worked in the same department, but they did not recognize each other. However, every time Darcy saw Samantha, she felt that she was very familiar. One day, as they were leaving work, Samantha received a phone call from someone claiming to have witnessed the car accident a few months ago. The caller told Samantha that they had seen a suspicious woman at the scene and wanted to meet with her to discuss it. Unfortunately, Darcy overheard their conversation and became suspicious. She quickly went back and looked up the news about the car accident, and when she saw Samantha's name in the report. She was stunned.